Hey guys, and welcome to today's video. Today, we have one of the most entertaining cases I've covered yet, as we have a defendant who uses his sick mother as an excuse to explain away his bond violation. That is, until the judge calls his mother to verify his story. This one has a good ending, so let's begin. Jones, tell us your name for the record. Akil Lamar Jones Bowie. <laughs> Okay, so Mr. Jones has a couple of matters here. He has a probable cause conference with me. He also has a tether violation. Let's deal with the tether violation. Um, basically, um, see, I was Mr. Jones, please don't speak. Judge, I have not seen a copy of the tether violation. Do you know if that was emailed to Ms. Silver? Oh, I don't know. I'm just back. I just got back here today. But I'll be happy to read portions of it to you. As you know, Mr. Jones was enrolled in the tether program back on July 3rd by he was um, placed on house arrest. By July 5th, he violated by leaving the home and was tracked going to a liquor store. And didn't return to the home. That's about the long and short of it. Okay, Judge. Judge, I would ask that uh, Mr. Jones's bond be reinstated at this time. Uh, it's quite possible that he did not know he was under house arrest. While I can appreciate this defense attorney's best attempt at keeping her client out of jail, I don't think it's possible that he just didn't understand that he was on house arrest, especially since he signed his bond conditions and they fitted him with a tether. Um, without actually seeing the report, judge, or um, a file, I don't have much more to say than that. He was told he was on house arrest. Please don't give, give me that. I'm gonna put you in a breakout room so you can speak with him. Okay. Thank you. Okay, we are back on the record on People versus Akil Jones, case number two three zero five seven five seven four zero one. Actually, we were doing is tether violation. How would you like to proceed on that, Ms. Cross? Is he pleading guilty to the violation? He would like to offer a plea of guilty with an explanation, Judge. He okay. is allowed out of house arrest. He has an ill mother who he acts as her caregiver. Um, is she is in the process of moving right now. I'm sorry, does his ill mother live at the liquor store? He maintains that he went there for his mother. But he, so he doesn't understand what house arrest means? Judge, I did explain it to him um, in further detail. I am asking that his bond be reinstated at this time. So on July 3rd, he was enrolled in the tether program and it was explained to him and he agreed. He was given the rules and regulations by the Lane County Sheriff's Office tether program, including the conditions of the arrest. What was it you didn't understand, sir? Sir, I, I'm I'm under the impression that I was not given a fair uh, shot as far as my tether in the first place. Well, hey, if you don't think you got a fair shot with that tether, you can always choose the alternative, which is waiting for your trial date in jail. You've been charged with some pretty serious felony matters. The fact that they're letting you out, even on house arrest, is a blessing. Um, When I let the judge know that I take care of my moms and that she's disabled and she can't get around, I really meant that. She's in the process of moving her, as well as my grandmother. I, I'm sorry, I understand that there's rules of the court, but I refuse to, to just be at home and can't do nothing and provide for my mother. That's all okay. I'm saying. And then, Ms. Cross, he refused to abide by the rules of the teleprogram. That, that's not necessarily true. What I'm saying is I hold the value of my mother Mr. above Jones. a teller. Mr. Jones, please do not speak. I'm just being honest. It, it say speak the truth and nothing but yeah, you speak the truth and nothing but the truth when you speak. However, you also have a Fifth Amendment right to shut your mouth as anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. Just like now, you just told the judge you had no intention of following the tether requirements to remain out on bond. So guess what's going to happen next? 
So the conditions of his tether was that he was placed on house arrest, allowed to travel for court and medical reasons, as well as his mother's medical appointments only. Now, what business did you have at the liquor store? I can't hear you. Getting her wound supplies, sir. She has diabetic leg ulcers. From the liquor store? It was a CVS. A liquor store is connected to it on the other side. Yeah, your honor. His mom needed him to go to one of those special CVSs that sell medical grade Jameson flavored condoms. I really don't like his attitude, Miss Cross. I apologize for my attitude, but I'm under urgency because my mother is in the process of moving. If she don't move, then her house been in foreclosure. He has a poor attitude and he pretty much conveyed to the court that he doesn't care what we say, he's going to do what he has to do, period. And I'm going to show him otherwise. So what he doesn't understand is that the tether was not a right, it was a privilege. I do understand that. So you took my gift and you threw it in my face. When I said sure. house arrest, and, and we even allowed for you these other conditions for you to take your mother to medical appointments and for you to travel to court and for your own medical purposes as well. I thought the court was very generous in allowing that. But in addition to that, not only did you go to the liquor store, you never returned home. That's not true. So we have an issue. And on top of everything else, we're lying on. Anything else? Yes. None of this. Yeah. Your Honor. Mr. Jones, I would, I would advise you not to speak at this time uh, as counsel, but if you choose otherwise, that's up to you. Yes, I choose otherwise because there's a lot of things you don't understand. Trust me when I say this, the court does not need to understand your chromosomal deficiency. Um, Judge, what I want to say is when I did not return home, I was going to help my mother fill out the application for her new apartment. Plus, I had to help her get there, get in the apartment and everything about that. So when I didn't return home, she was taking a rest at her friend's place and we was going to return back home. This is not a case of me going to the liquor store and just staying out and going and hanging and, and, and riding around. That's not what this was. This was me helping my mother out. That's the God honest truth. I'm, I'm asking for leniency because she really do need my help. I'm the only one that she has right now. She has little kids around her. She doesn't have anybody of my age that can help take care of her right now. So I am asking for leniency. Thank you. I do, I do understand that the court has been very lenient in letting me go to her medical appointments and my medical appointments and to my court date, which I missed because my phone bill haven't been paid due to me just being on tether. That's the reason why I missed my court date yesterday. It's a lot of things that's going on. I didn't know you missed the court date also. And that, my friends, is why you don't speak unless your lawyer tells you to talk. Because any decision that the judge comes to today is going to be influenced by the negative information that you just volunteered to him for free. Yes, I did. I'm, I'm telling you that I'm being honest. I don't have no reason to lie to you about anything. It's just she needs me right now. I have a two, I have a PPO that's been served to me that I cannot go to my, to Mr. my Jones, domain. That's enough. That's enough. Judge, he was originally scheduled for yesterday. It's my understanding that Ms. Silver received a message uh, from your court clerk indicating that the PCC was moved to today. Um, your Honor, based on what was said, I would leave it up to the court's discretion regarding bond but I would object to uh, another tether. I don't think he could have dug a bigger hole for me if I gave him a shovel. I wouldn't count your chickens before they hatch, Judge, because this guy's about to dig the Grand Canyon out from underneath him. Now, the defendant has used his mother as an excuse several times in this video, so the judge calls his mother to verify his story. Ms. Cross, can you give me mom's phone number if you have it? Give me one second. Oh, 
Okay, this is back on the record on people versus Akil Jones. So, Mr. Jones, there's a couple of things you need to know about me. One is that I'm far from stupid. And two, I don't like to be lied to. So it's very important that you be honest, completely honest with me right now. How did you get to your mother's? I walked and got on a bus. When you got to your mother's, where did you go? When I got to my mother's, I cleaned up for her and everything like that. And then I had went to the I went to a CVS. It's on a, I walked with my little sister. I tried to warn you. Maybe I should have told you. I spoke, I just got off the phone with you with your mother. So let's try it again. How did you get where you were going? Oh, of yeah, right. a friend. A friend had. Oh, okay. I remember now. Okay, yeah. we. A friend of hers and mine's had pulled up because we're both her caregiver, basically. And I had so asked you, her. You told me she didn't have anybody but you. Remember that? We take shifts. Then I, she then she I takes, about Al. I know all about Al. You forgot about him? Yes, I forgot about I a lot like, of stuff. I tried to warn you. I don't like to be lied to, sir. You're wasting my time. I have some very pressing things going on right here. And you feed me this nonsense. My memory is not is it's not great. I wasn't thinking. Obviously. So unfortunately. I can't trust this man. I can't trust him to tell me the truth. I can't trust him to abide by the conditions of his tether. And what makes matters worse, he has a mom that's willing to co-sign for him, which I guess I can understand because mothers sometimes do that with their sons. But I'm going to set his mind at 25000 cash shirt. Now, does he have another case with me? He has a second it, case, is that right? I don't believe so, Judge. If he does, we only have one. Because his name I sounds believe the second matter. I was a pastor, sorry. What did I do to you, man? First of all, I'm not your man. No, you're not my man, obviously, but I'm saying, what, what did I do to you? Because I went to a liquor store and I forgot that I went there? No. If it was that simple, then you probably wouldn't be getting in as much trouble as you're about to get into. The judge is pissed off because you decided to use your mom as an excuse, that you used your little sister as an excuse, and that you lied to the court even after you'd been caught. She obviously told you everything that I did. $25,000? Yes, sir. Try, is that not enough? You want to try 50? Do your thing, my partner. You already did the worst. You can't do no further. 50,000 cash. Do 100,000. Do 100,000. Okay. That's even better. 100,000 cash. He's all set. Bye bye. Bye, have a great time. All right, guys, that's the end of the video. I stuck around and watched his trial a few days after in case anything significant happened there, but he actually took the advice of his lawyer and didn't say a word the entire time. So if you liked the video, leave a like. If you disliked it, leave a dislike. But don't forget to leave a comment below and subscribe with notifications on so you don't miss any of my content. I'm Team Skeptic, and I'm out.